And David Can here with another question from the question bank in topic 11.2. We're looking at uh, alternating, uh, alternating circuits, uh, RMS voltage, and power. We have a lamp with a resistance R is connected in series to a source of alternating voltage with a value of 20 volts. Uh, that's an RMS value. The variation with time t of the power dissipated in the light bulb is shown below. We want to use this information to uh, estimate the resistance of the filament. There's probably three or four ways that you can solve this. I'll, I'll take you through one. Um, we know that average power is equal to RMS current times RMS voltage. RMS stands for root mean squared. It basically means average, but not quite. But it kind of makes sense that if you took something like the average voltage and multiplied it by something like the average current, you'd get the average power, which you do. Uh, so that's, that's one thing that's going to help us. The other thing that's going to help us is that uh, at all times, Ohm's law is obeyed, where V equals IR. So anytime you have a, a voltage, you'll have a particular current that matches the resistance. So if you have the RMS voltage, then you'll have the RMS current based around the resistance. So we can rearrange this to solve for the RMS current. That's the RMS voltage divided by the resistance. And use that to plug in here and solve for the resistance. Because the problem here is that uh, we don't have a term for resistance. And the problem here is we don't have a term for current. We don't, we don't know the value of current. Uh, but if we plug it in here, it solves both problems at once. We get rid of the current term and replace it with a resistance term. And we get to say that the average power is VRMS squared on R. R is what I want to know. So that's VRMS squared divided by the average power. The average alternates evenly between 0 and 100 watts. So that's going to be 50. 20 squared is 400, divided by 50 is 8.